Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT of Tech channel. Uh, in our previous video, we saw about uh, my site features. There are many interesting features that are available in about me option. And uh, I have covered all of them in my previous video. And uh, I have also defined uh, dis mentioned the link of my previous video uh, in the description box. If you, you haven't seen that video, I recommend you to go to that video and watch it to explore the features of my sites. In my current video, I'm going to see uh, two important features. The first one is OneDrive and the second one is SharePoint. So first of all, OneDrive. If I click on OneDrive, uh, this is an option of OneDrive that is available by Microsoft in SharePoint 2019 and onwards versions. It's not, uh, it was not available in previous versions. Thanks to Microsoft to uh, offering that interesting feature here. If you uh, configure OneDrive, OneDrive is automatically configured whenever you create configure my uh, my sites. First of all, it's clear. After that, there is a folder here that is uh, you can you know that is by default available that is shared with everyone, and its sharing is enabled. Okay, if I click here, uh, you can say everyone can edit. HR manager is the owner, so it means that everyone has the option to. Uh, access that folder alternatively if you want to uh, share this uh, to any of the user you have to provide the link okay i want to make i want to uh, give access of this file to uh, any particular user for example i want to give access it to sp19 admin uh, sir please amend as required uh, if i say uh, this sorry now i'm going to share this link so that the user despite of uh, browsing here and there searching here and there can only click on the particular link and can edit that uh, file so please append as required and here i allow editing okay now if i send that option uh, send that link and go into uh, the mail of that user that is my sp19 admin here you have seen that a mail uh, has been received here my exchange server is little bit slow because i have very less resources on my physical server let me try here to open it okay uh, meanwhile it's opening let's explore other features uh, HR manager shared new talk sir please amend as required this link only works for the direct owner there will be a link here in that mail uh, by clicking on that link you can open that document online from the server and you can edit it as required okay after editing uh, you can uh, the HR manager can see that it is modified by SP19 admin after uh, editing has been done so this is a folder that is uh, shared with everyone if you want to create a new folder for your uh, f that may not be shared uh, you will let's say i name it as private folder so this is a private folder and sh its sharing is private okay this item is not shared if you want to uh, grant access to anyone you can grant access if you want to keep it private you can you want uh, it's up to you okay these are the files that are shared with me right now uh, there are no files that are shared with me recent files so this is a feature of onedrive uh, that is your onedrive is open in an on premise environment uh, and this one drive is uh, configured as per your uh, login id now if you want to sync your uh, onedrive uh, so syncing with the microsoft drive uh, you know uh, you are working in on premise environment and now you want to sync it with the microsoft base uh, drive that is microsoft onedrive that is available on the internet it means that one of the prerequisite is that you must have a internet connected gateway so that your uh, on premise environment may uh, have an access to the internet uh, and may have access of microsoft onedrive over the internet Secondly, your, uh, you must have a valid Microsoft uh, OneDrive base uh, user ID because your these user IDs that are here, 
our own premise based user IDs let me show you here if I click on sync it's giving me two uh, notification getting ready to sync we are opening one drive on your computer sign it with if prompted and it want to open Microsoft OneDrive as soon as you click on uh, Microsoft OneDrive uh, it will open your uh, uh, locally installed Microsoft OneDrive app that is this one okay now uh, there are two things first thing is that uh, this user is not uh, I think a valid user of Microsoft Drive for that you have to create account right now my internet con uh, connection is not available I'm working on totally uh, on-premise environment so I cannot go to that one if you have this ID uh, user ID enabled and uh, available at Microsoft OneDrive all you need to do is to sign in after signing in uh, you can uh, sync your uh, cloud-based files uh, here and all your files will be synced uh, in uh, the due course of time depending upon your file size okay so this is about uh, connecting your uh, on-premise on OneDrive with the Microsoft OneDrive if there is no need to connect it with Microsoft OneDrive then simply you have to go and uh, 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 maintain this OneDrive that is available for you as a feature of uh, on-premise environment okay now going into SharePoint here you can see that there are different type of uh, you know files that are available I am following blog okay if I click on blog this is a blog all the sites that you are going to follow are uh, will come here all the interesting sites let me uh, say that this is my site okay if I go into site content uh, sorry if I go into uh, sites of big HR sorry this site is not shared with you okay let's go from uh, my uh, another account that is this one still my uh, exchange server is hang so it's better to yes this is hang in my hang state okay I don't know why let me storage memory CPU my resources are exhausted okay fine I have to invest on it okay fine and uh, now going into this one here you can see that SP19 admin is not following that site okay uh, let me mm, yes if I start following that site uh, after that if I go into my SharePoint site here it will show you that you are also following these sites so all the so sites that I am going to follow I am following are available here secondly you can uh, as an admin you can uh, define the main links here and as a user you can access that links for example uh, as a user HR manager uh, I have blog uh, that I'm currently following I have featured links of mailing links for that uh, this is my mailing server let's say similarly you can define the mailing uh, as an admin uh, this is my admin as an admin you can add multiple featured links here and as a user the user can easily uh, navigate to that links okay so this is showing you the options of SharePoint if I click on blog you can quickly go to blog if I click on mailing you can quickly go on mailing so you can all if your search service enable you can uh, search it on uh, SharePoint right now my search is not working otherwise it may have given me a better, very better result so these are the features of uh, sites and OneDrive here my sites apps OneDrive SharePoint I have already told you about them so this is all about this current video and uh, guys if you have already linked that document let's say uh, you have linked your on-premise environment with your 
mailing system that is exchange you can further enhance the uh, functioning of your environment all the users who are uh, who are uh, the part of your domain uh, anywhere there uh, they are called their id is called their id is mentioned they are shared with any document they are tagged in any uh, uh, you know blog any document is shared with them uh, this is microsoft exchange is the best platform where they can get all the notifications automatically and uh, i recommend you to go for that videos are available in my channel all you need to do is to watch them thoroughly and, and uh, implement them in your environment to explore these features so viewers thank you all for watching this video and enjoy watching more videos viewers who are new viewers please subscribe my channel i thank you very much